Good afternoon, students. In the last class, we discussed about the drugs and their classification and what why they are called so. antimicrobial, antibiotic, antiseptic, disinfecting, okay, antihistamine, everything. So next, in today's class, we are going to study about the food preservatives, chemicals used in foods. Okay, so that is. Food are chemicals used in food. Okay. So students in this food, you know the most of the things we are using are chemicals in our artificial sweetening agents in foods. You simply say initially this is Chemicals in food. In that, food colors are there, food flavors are there. Okay? Food colors, food flavors, artificial sweetening agents. Artificial sweetening agents. Next, fat emulsifiers. Fat emulsifiers. Next, antioxidants. Antioxidants and preservatives. Good. Preservatives. So in this, they are given mostly about this artificial sweetening agents as well as food preservatives for your syllabus. Okay? So chemicals in food, food color means, you know, if you do any food, like different colors you get, green color, red color, that depends on, depend upon the color we are adding to that. Understand? So the best example is, you know, if you do any sweet, the sweets are green in color, jangi is there, that is saffron in color, jilabi also white color is there, saffron color is there. That saffron color is due to what? Due to the addition of a food coloring agent. Understand? Next, flavors. You know, when you are ordering any cake, what are you going to say? Vanilla flavor, ice cream and all. Chocolate flavor, mango flavor, those are what? The chemicals. They are they are not going to add a fruit mango in that. Okay? If you ask mango ice cream, they won't put mango fruit directly in that. It is just a chemical compound which gives the taste of mango. Understand? Mango flavor is there, vanilla is there, chocolate, and uh, pomegranate, pineapple, so many flavors are there. Okay? Next. Artificial sweetening agents. So these are used for a diabetic patients. Is the cook is prepared without sorry, these type of artificial sweetening agents. Means they give the sweet taste to the food, but they won't give any calories. Understand? You know, sucrose is there. If it's a simple sugar, what we are using in our daily life, okay? That sucrose. If we use directly a carbohydrate, then it is converted to what? Glucose and glucose. Understand? So that glucose have the capacity to release calories. Okay? So these artificial sweetening agents, they won't consider any carbohydrate food, especially free carbohydrate food. They consist of either RDA group or ketogenic group. Understand? But they gave a taste which is sweet in taste. Understand? They just replace the sugar. That means, so they won't, they are giving only taste of sweet, but they won't give any calories. Understand? Next, fat emulsifiers. Means, these are the ingredients we use in the, uh, what is it? Cooking purpose. Okay? To emulsify the fat. Understand? Break the fat. Next, 
Antioxidants means, you know, in uh, our food, so many reactions, biochemical reactions will take place, oxidation is takes place, reduction is takes place, even inside our body, but it is little less. So the anti antioxidants is also used in what? That uh, food preservative. For example, you know, uh, washing, sorry, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. In that, it is converted to what? Carbon dioxide is released. The whole of carbon dioxide. Auto oxidants means itself undergoes reduction. Removal of O2. Understand? Next, food preservatives means the one which used to keep the food for a long time. Preserve, keep. For what? Food preservative. For example, you know, any fat food foods are then we manufactured it and expiry date. Okay? Until that expiry date, the suitable chemical will work. Understood? The best homemade food preservative is salt. If you add anything to the salt, I'm oh sorry, salt to anything, it won't decompose and it won't waste that much easily. It won't decompose. Understand? So that is food preservative. It may be oil, it may be, um, for example, pickles. Pickles are always stored in what? So much of oil and salt. Because salt and oil acts as a food preservative for pickle. Okay? Like sodium benzoate is used to prepare a pack of fruits. Understand? So these are other food preservative. That is what we are going to study in this. So students, first we will discuss about artificial sweetening agents. Which replaces sucrose or any sugar. Okay, in that first one is aspartame. Aspartame. And next one is saccharin. Very commonly used this is saccharin. Next, sucralose. Okay, last one is. Okay, students, I write the structure of these that will help you to understand what is the difference between sucrose and these artificial sweetening agents. Okay, just time. This is the structure of saccharin. The sucralose means it is a different type of arrangement.
Among these students, this is very, very, it is so much sweet, 2000 times sweeter than a normal sugar, that is sucrose. Normal sugar is a sucrose. It is 2000 times sweeter, means if you add one pinch, that is enough. Understand? So this is sweetening agent. So the next one is food preservatives. Just you have to remember, give a chemical which is used for as a food preservative, that is sodium benzoate. That is an, only one more portion is there. Okay? So that food preservative prevents what? The spoilage of food. Understand? It prevents spoilage of food. In that the example is vegetable oil is there, sodium benzoate is there, salt is there. Okay? And also sodium ethanoid is there. So these are all examples for a food preservative. They last directly only one more portion. Name any one chemical which help, which used as a food preservative. Sodium benzoate. Understand? Then I ask the structure of sodium benzoate also and write. What is sodium benzoate means? Benzoic acid is there. COOH. If this H is replaced by any, this is called as sodium benzoate. And you take it as C6H5COOH. It is used as a good preservative. Okay? Understand? Anything doubts? Only you have to remember artificial sweetening agent, their name and how many times they are sweeter than normal sugar. And this one, as a food preservative, salt is there, oil is there, sodium benzoate is there. There are the chemical compound that is sodium benzoate. Artificial is. Okay? Next one is cleaning action or cleaning agents. Okay. The last one is cleaning agents. So obviously students, we know what are cleaning agents means soaps and detergents. They used to clean a dirt, okay, which is on the fabrics, which is on our body, tissues, everything. Soaps and detergents. So in this cleaning agents, we are going to study which type of soaps, what are called as soaps, what are called as detergents. Understand? Okay, so I will say first, what are soaps? Sodium are, potassium salts are, long chain, fatty acids. Sodium are, potassium salts are, long chain fatty acids are called as soaps. Okay. So cleaning agent is especially detergents. In this detergents, two types. One is soap, another one is synthetic detergent. Both are called as detergents only. Okay. One is soap. In that detergent, two types. One is soap. Another one is synthetic detergent. Okay, so that soap is sodium or potassium salts are along chain fatty acids. Detergent means ammonium sulfonates of long chain fatty acids. Later I will say. Okay, so students, how these will form? Okay, initially. As in, here it is a glycerol. Okay? When this glycerol combines with three molecules of steric acid. Okay, steric. That means C17, C18, C19, C20. Okay? 
O H C seven K H This is stearic acid. Remember, C seventeen H thirty five C O O H. You have to remember this. This is how much three molecules. We are asking to place it up. Okay, what will remove from here O H from here H? Okay, what will form here? It form C H two C H two C H two. To this C H two, here it is attached. O C double bond O C seventeen H thirty five. Three molecules are attached to so this one is H. To balance them, this one is H. Understand? I hope you understand. Here, water molecule is you. By that, this you. So this one is glycerol ester of glycerol ester of stearic acid. It is an ester. C double bond O R. It is an ester. Understand? If this ester is treated with NaOH. And right here, if it is treated with NaOH, okay, then it will form again. It regain alpha that is CH two OH, CH OH, CH two OH. Here form three molecules of C seventeen. H thirty five C O O N A that is sodium salt. Only the thing is glycerol. You know in the soaps they used to say glycerol. Okay, so this glycerol combines with a higher fatty acid. What it is? Sodium or potassium salts of the long chain fatty acid. This is the fatty acid. That is called C O O H. So then they form this ester. That ester reacts with NaOH to form this one. Understand? So this is called as soap. Okay, this soap is used for used as a cleaning agent for living tissues. In solid soaps, you know, Lux is there, Sunfood is there. You know, L'Oreal Paris they say. What is that L'Oreal means? It is an acid. If they use L'Oreal acid or a L'Oreal fatty acid, then it is L'Oreal. Glycerol soap they say. If they use glycerol in the excess, that is the glycerol soap. One of the soap which is transparent, you know, almost in that the glycerol is more in it. The concentration of glycerol is more, you know. Transparent soap is also there. Different color soaps are also there. Correct? In the sandal only, saffron is there, white is there. In data, green is there. Uh, saff saffron is there. White is there. Yellow is there. Okay, those color and the transparency. That is based on the concentration of the acid as well as the glycerol. What is the role of the glycerol? Means, this is friends. If you touch ethanol or methanol, ethanol is you. That is the laboratory agent. If you touch that, it will feel softy, softy nature. Okay. So whatever the soap which is transparent in that, if you just touch, it is so sorry, so slippery it is. It is so soft it is. It has a so nice surface. Because glycerol is more in the alcoholic character is they are very soft. Understand? So this is soap. So here types of soaps are there. In that, as I told you, different colored soaps are there. Okay, and the transparent soaps are there. That is based on the ingredients they are going to add. Understand? So the next one is synthetic detergents. Only this much is there. What are soaps? The sodium and potassium salts of the long chain fatty acids. Okay, this is the reaction of the text. So this reaction is called as 
saponification. This is very important. What is saponification? Means preparation of sodium and potassium salts of the long chain fatty acids by using glycerol, fatty acid, and NaOH. Understand? Preparation of sodium means preparation of so. What are those so? Sodium and potassium salts of the acid. Okay, that process is called as saponification. Understand? So the next one is detergents. Next one is synthetic detergents. So, what are the synthetic detergents? So, listen. So, they are they are the ammonium sulfonate salts of a long chain fatty acids. Ammonium sulfonate of a long chain fatty acids. If sodium and potassium is there, then it is so. If ammonium or sulfonate is there, then it is detergent. Understand what they are? They are ammonium or sulfonates of long chain fatty acids are they consist of alcohols also. Long chain fatty acids or alcohols. Let us give the example when it came to why I use alcohols as well as fatty acids. Okay? So, students, there is a whether ammonium is present or sulfonate is present, they are classified as anionic, anionic detergent, cationic detergent. And non ionic detergent. Understand? An ionic detergent, cationic, and as well as non ionic detergent. So, students here, you, have, you can see easily, an ionic detergent means the major part in the detergent is the an ion. Understand? The major part in the detergent is the an ion. That means this sulfonate. If sulfonate group is present, then they are called as anionic detergents. Don't say sulfonate groups. It is like if the major part of the detergent is an anionic, then it is called as anionic detergent. I'll write the example then you came to know. That is here CH3, CH2 10 times OH. This one is, as I told you, this is a L'Oreal. Okay? This L'Oreal is treated with H2SO4. Then what happens here? H2SO4 is a dehydrating agent. From here, H will remove. Sorry, from here, OH will remove. From here, H will remove. From here, H from here OH. If H2SO4 is there, from here OH removes means remaining is HSO3. Correct? H2SO4, OH is removed. Remaining is 1HSO3. This is sulfonate group. Understand? H2SO4 is a dehydrating agent. Here what happens? This is CH3, CH2. 10 times 
Here H is removed means O will go. Here it is O. Yes, O3 H. Larium hydrogen sulfonate. Understood? What are molecules that remove from this? Because H2 is for is a dehydrating agent. So this becomes larium hydrogen sulfonate. Okay. So students, after this, after this, this will react with linear oil solution or this will help to neutralize this H2SO4. The added acid can be neutralized by this NaOH. Okay. Then you get CH3, CH2, and OSO3 minus Na plus. Understand? Sorry. O is only minus and Na plus. Understand? Here, this is the reagent group. It is having the charge minus. That is a sulfonate group is present as a minus. Understand? That's why this is called as anionic detergent. Understood? Anion means negative charge. Why they are called as anionic reagent means, sorry, detergent means because they have a sulfonated long chain anion. Are you missing please, students? What is anion means? Sodium salts are. Sodium salts are. Sulfonated long chain long chain Alcohols. This is made up of what? Alcohol. Okay. Sodium salts of sulfonated long chain alcohols are called as what? Called as anionic detergent. Instead of alcohols, you may take hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons means they are fatty acids. Alcohols are hydrocarbons. Understood? So, why I say, I don't, what are detergents? A general reaction, general definition is ammonium are sulfonates of long chain fatty acids or alcohols. Okay. In the specially anionic, only sodium salt of sulfonates and sulfonated long chain alcohols. Then, obviously, cationic means there is a presence of ammonium ion. Understand? I'll explain, then you can you know. So students, what are these cations means? They are the quaternary ammonium. They are the quaternary ammonium salts of amines with amines with anions with anions ok so the example for this is I will take citerite trinitrite citeral trinitrite ammonium bromide remember this important for one mark what are anionic reagent? Give an example. What are anionic reagent? Means sodium salts of a long chain, sulfonated salts of a long chain, alcohols. Okay. So example is laurier sulfonate. Understood? So B, what is cation? Cationic detergent. Quaternary ammonium salts of amines with anions with minus charge. Okay. The example is citrylene. Trimethyl ammonium bromide. Those are important for the They are like that only. What is anionic detergent? Give an example. What is cationic detergent? Give an example. What is non-ionic detergent? Give an example. So students here, 
ammonia is there quaternary salt means ammonia is bonded to four bonds then it will get a plus charge this is quaternary ammonia is that if nh3 is there this is ammonia if you write nh4 you will always is to write plus charge correct that is what i wrote here next with the negative ion any x minus it is not only x minus it may be acetate or anything okay later i will see so here what is citric means so listen try to type in c three ch3 groups are there one citric group is so citric means the ch3 ch2 15 times CH3, CH2, 15 times. This is quaternary ammonium salt of amines with anions. It may be here they said bromide means here it is Br. So this is plus in charge, this is minus in charge. Here students, the entire the fatty acid or a half fatty acid it is okay, lunch and hydrocarbon. This will have a plus charge that tells about cation that is a cationic detergent here initially what happens the bulkier group of a detergent consists of an anion minus charge that's why it is anionic remember if sulfonate is the anionic nitrogen is there it is ammonia that is cationic so here not only we are minus students you may write seriously co minus cl minus Okay, Br minus, F minus, then the acetate, chlorides, bromides, chlorides, etc. Okay, we don't bother about this. The definition is what? Quaternary ammonium salts are combined with the anions. This is the quaternary ammonium. Example is this one. So, chiril trimethyl ammonium bromide. Understand? Next one is non-ionic. So in that non-ionic means there is no anion, there is no cation. These are the detergents. There is no presence of a cation as well as anion. So example for that is stearic acid that is CH3, CH2, 10 times COOH plus Polyethylene glycol. N times of ethylene glycol mix CH2OH CH2OH Polyethylene glycol. So therefore students listen, always here H2O will remove, correct? H2O will remove, that means CH3 CH2 N times C double bond O, O, here OH will remove means CH2, CH2, O, H, this one is initially O, this one is N times, next bonded to CH2, CH2, OH, this is the structure, because N number of is it, repeating the H2O molecule with remove, correct? So this is the structure and we have to continue from this CH2, CH2, OH. This is example for a non-ionic detergent. Understand? This one is stearic acid, this one is polyglycerol. So it is polyethylene glycol. That is example for a non-ionic. There is no plus charge, there is no minus charge. So students, this is almost used in a Liquid dishwash, this uh, sorry, dishwash bar, you know, which is that uh, uh, what is that called as commercial name, Lysol. You know, commercial name Lysol, and uh, and the swimming and the liquid dishwash bar. Understand? This is all about the, the chemistry we have done. This completes the chapter. Okay, thank you.